I'm here in the kitchen with my culinary partner in crime, Chef Pilar Valdez. That's right. I love you. I love you. All right. It's Tuesday in October, and here on the Drew Barrymore Show, that means it's time for a cookbook countdown. Ooh. We are eagerly counting down the days until our debut cookbook is released on November 2nd. That's right. And uh, today we're tackling a meal that's also one of my favorite meals, period, mm -hmm. that's actually in the cookbook. And it's for a meal that I think has a reinvention, and sometimes you can get stuck in a rut because it's breakfast. So I love this. We have a busy mom and dad with us who wrote into our show about their breakfast needs and a bit of a revamp. I am feeling you, Alice and Jimmy. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for having us. But more importantly, today is a very special day for both of you. Yes, it is. It's our uh, nine-year wedding anniversary. <laughs> what better way to spend it? Um, We've been uh, married, well, we've been married nine years. We've been together 12 years. We have two little boys, seven and four. Oh. Oh, I have seven and nine. Aww. We're in it. So yeah. you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's so chaotic in the house. Like, we didn't even say happy anniversary until we got to the show. And we're like, yeah. oh, it's our anniversary. This oh. is why we're here, right? <laughs> Isn't it? I, I so relate to that. I can't even tell you. I mean, it's, I like to call it the beautiful mess. It is. You know, the beautiful chaos. Yeah. And Alice and Jimmy, um, what is your current breakfast routine? No routine. It's, <laughs> it's an amazing race it's every day. Butter toast, plain, simple, boring, fast, and then I'll make Jimmy a smoothie. I'll eat whatever's left over. Yeah we, yeah. we would love to have a dish that we could make together on the weekends, enjoy together. That's not boring. Um, something exciting. Bring the kids into it. Um, so, yeah, we, we're really looking to spruce it up. So the recipe today, and again, we're really honored that you guys are celebrating with us because this is actually a recipe I think that was one of the firsts that we developed together in the book. Um, and it's a soft scrambled eggs with yuzu kosho and a side crisp avocado salad. This is a really easy go-to recipe. So easy. It's super simple. It takes you a little bit outside of like your pantry, um, but it delivers huge flavor, and you can have this ready in under 10 minutes. So that's, that's really, right. really easy and simple. And this magical recipe, and we even have a photograph, because uh, there's 300 personal photographs that Pilar <laughs> and I took in the book, as well as beautiful uh, existing artwork. Um, but um, this ingredient is yuzu koshu. So yuzu kosho is a Japanese condiment. And do you guys like heat? Do you guys like chilies? Yes. Oh, perfect. Right up your alley then, because this is made with the yuzu citrus, a little bit of salt, and then some chilies. So it has this really nice heat, but it's not very forward. It's not like burn your mouth off. Not hot. at all. Um, and this thing, uh, this condiment is actually really easy to get. You know, a lot of your larger supermarkets will carry it these days, or you can order it online. So it's very accessible. Once to you know order. about it, you're like, oh. Great. It, it, it'll change your life. You put it, it in everything. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's the most unique flavor that I have found inside of a jar in a very long time. All right. So two components to this recipe. The first thing we're going to make is actually the salad. So in here, Drew, we have some mayonnaise, a little bit of lime juice, and then a little bit of sriracha for the heat. Just really lovely. I'm going to give that a quick taste. Mmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that, a little pepper. So that's your dressing, and honestly, that dressing will go, you spread it on anything you want, and it will be so freaking delicious. Um, next up, we're gonna add our crunchy bits, like what Drew was talking about. You know, you have the soft eggs, you want stuff that has a lot of crunch. Drew loves iceberg lettuce. Who here is a fan <laughs> of iceberg lettuce? <laughs> Nothing peeves me more than when they serve me wilted masculine greens. I'm like, I want a 1980s iceberg lettuce salad. I want crunch. Don't, don't give me that limp mulch and tell me I'm supposed to be excited about it, because I'm not. 
Iceberg, sorry. Iceberg, iceberg lettuce. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, celery. So what I like to do when you're using raw celery is actually to peel it before you cut it because celery can be really tough and stringy. And if you're eating it raw, there's nothing worse than getting some celery stuck in your teeth. So I just do a quick peel with a vegetable peeler, mm -hmm. remove the uh, tough outer fibers. I'm learning something right now. I didn't know you peel those fibers yes. off. No wonder everything tastes so amazing. And then it has a little bit of avocado. So you have that good creamy fat, which is really nice. So the salad is done. We're gonna mm. walk away from that and we're gonna move on to the second component, which is the soft scrambled eggs with the yuzu kosho. So we're gonna do two eggs per person. It's just like gonna, a sensible amount. Yes. <laughs> and then we're gonna season that up with half a teaspoon of yuzu kosho. And then Drew, I'm gonna do, as I always do, a little citrus zest, in this case, a little lime zest. So again, you know, these are sort of simple things you can incorporate into your breakfast routine that hopefully shake things up that aren't that complicated. Also zesting and garnish are those things that are so restaurant level and these little things make such a difference. Absolutely. How are you doing over there? Excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. So we're oh, excellent. Oh, I didn't mean to, but then. <laughs> All right. Well, you're just gonna whisk it until it's frothy and homogeneous, like it looks a little bit paler in color. You want that yuzu and zest incorporated. Incorporated, folded in, emulsified. So a couple of key points to remember when you're doing soft scrambled eggs, they're really easy to make. You need a non-stick pan. That's like the first thing. And then you want your heat actually on a medium low. So I'm gonna put a little bit of, I think this is avocado oil. That's probably like Which is a, a good oil. Mm -hmm. Nice and neutral, basically. And then you're gonna swirl it around the pan. So what are you gonna do is basically give it a whisk. We're gonna pour into that pan. So I can see your eggs, they're starting to set. You'll see in the corners, like the outer corners first. And basically, Drew, you're gonna move in those eggs. The key to soft scrambled eggs, low and slow, keep that spatula moving, and as you see, I'm also moving my pan. And then, Drew, right where your eggs are right now, you'll see they're a little wet. We're gonna pull them off the heat, and they're gonna continue to cook off the heat in that pan. That's the other thing oh. to remember. When you guys are, like, attempting breakfast, like, what's a dinner time routine? Are you takeout? Are you, like, order in? Do you cook then, too? It's a little more sane, because we've had the day to think about it, and the kids are, you know, home and awake, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, we, we try to mix it up. I'd say it's, like, half and half. Well, the kids eat frozen nuggets and fish sticks, so that makes the work half. Yeah. It happens. Work. <laughs> uh, shall we eat while we discuss? I'm really curious to know what you guys think. This is delicious. I love that <laughs> slow, yeah. warm, kind of like burn. Sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Of, Good wake up. Going on? Good wake up. Mm. Mm. No, no, more, no more overcooked eggs. No, no more it's overcooked perfectly eggs. scrambled. Yeah. Um, it's salty and mm -hmm. tart and spicy. Mm -hmm. it, it, I can feel it in my throat right now. <laughs> <I'm> totally awake. <laughs> and I can't stop shoving the food in my face. <laughs> and I just love it so much. And I hope that you guys too. And we got you an anniversary gift, actually. What? The traditional gift um, is, uh, it is pottery mm. for year nine. Mm. Um, so we got you a couple's lesson. Um, so you can get down and dirty with clay. Nice. I just went straight to ghost. Demi Moore. I, I, yeah. I love that scene. And, you know, as parents, how often do you get to, like, get out and away? It, it must be very Thank challenging. So often. So this awful. is our first time in 19 months as um, doing a mom and dad date. Yeah, yeah. So thank is, you for having yeah. us. I so love yeah. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like, for me, I'll, I'll, I want to just keep in this segment the importance of what you guys said earlier. You hadn't said happy anniversary to each other until you got here. 
in a space where you could just relax and get in the passenger seat and cruise mm -hmm. for a little while and you have a very busy demanding life and it's totally relatable and I'm so glad that you could have a moment and you deserve it and get your pottery on and <laughs> I'm gonna send you out for a special night. I don't care if I have to find that babysitter myself. <laughs> I will. Um, and we're gonna send you to your favorite restaurant and do it all up. Thank you. I just wanna set you guys up for a fabulous, fabulous, memorable evening that you oh. have earned and deserved. So so thank, you so <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Are you juggling everything? How do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, oh, thanks for topping off our day. That keeps the pressure off now. We don't have to plan anything else for yeah. hours. <laughs> okay, it's done. Yeah. I am going to plan everything. <laughs> I, I am going to metaphorically help you have a wonderful day and tuck you in at night and you just babysit? help you be a part metaphorically i said <laughs> alice you'll be crying real tears if i'm really in that bathroom it's gonna get weird may i ask like what the burst of emotion is i'm just curious as a mom oh my god someone being so nice to us and taking care of us for once oh. <laughs> the audience saw me <laughs> By the way, that's what moms do. We're criers. She does so much for us at home, and um, honestly, it's just um, I I couldn't make it without her. Um, I know our kids. I know our kids gonna need it. I know our kids gonna need it. Um, so she is our rock. She is our rock. Just why she's you know. At nine years, you are respected, admired, and Thank called you. the rock. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so wonderful. Well, happy anniversary, Thank you, so you guys. Much. I'm so glad and grateful that we could be a part of this memory. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. All right. Rebel Homemaker comes out soon. Who cares? We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>